I'm Samuel Chemeka. In this very segment, we are going to talk through disassembling and assembling of Arsenal and Spire 5100. But before we begin towards this very disassembling and reassembling of this very Arsenal and Spire 5100, we really have to look into some basic futures that will actually enable us in Arsenal to carry out the disassembling and assembly process of this very project. First, we have the restrap in order to avoid of ERC, simply means electrostatic code discharge. Then down here, we have our precision tools that will actually enable us in order to, to carry out the unscrewing of these very machines and dars it. Then down here, we have our pliers, our cutters, and then down here, we have up our air pressing glue. This very actually comes up, um, it's a very handy product, um, probably a very useful tool. And then how, down here, oh, we have up our microscope lens. This actually enables us, unlike when mother ball is spray, so having all some sort of little ices and dyes, it, it always comes up in handy when you know, you then you turn it off and then you try to lenses and get about, well, especially great. Has always proven up in other sides of it. A very useful tool. So our brushes in order to, to brush our debris and log smoke. Then down here we have up our digital multimeters protecting our voltages unlike that of the current flow, the HCs and the coupled up with the DCs. We have up our electric blower to enable blowing our debris, dogs and get apart from pieces and darks it. Alright now before we continue with the disassembling and reassembling of Arsar Aspire 5100, I would like us to clear up the table so as to enable us have more space for the disassembling and reassembling processes of Arsar Aspire 5100. Yeah, towards this very junction, we have our wrist trap which will actually enable us to avoid of ELC. What do I mean by this very phrase, ELC? I simply means electrostatic discharges. Then down here we have our precision tools, which will actually enable us to unscrew up as we go along disassembling and reassembling of our product. And then down here we have up our tweezers, which will actually enable us to apply arch connectors and these cables. Then before we begin with the disassembling processes, it's always advisable we put on our wrist strap. Then, once we put up our wrist strap, next, what we have, we turn over the pigs. Up. And then we have to engage up our electron, our wrist strap towards this very connector. And then we have to clip this very connector towards the metal surface here. It's extremely firmly well engaged being clipped. Before we start up with the disassembling process, we have to first do what? Unlock. Unlock the battery. Unlock the battery base. So we have to push these very locks towards this very right side. We push, we firmly push, and then the battery locks up, then we push it out. We push it out. So we have to unscrew these very two screws in order to so review up the hard disk drive. As we unscrew, we try to arrange up our screws. So we change objects, we engage, and then we try to ply it out. We ply this very hard drive um, cover gradually, gradually, it pops up. That's it. And then we try to slide up this very hard drive towards this very end. And down here, have to destroy it. And towards this very stage, we have to loose up some couple of screws in other size to have our size towards the service door. Here we have like about one, two, three, and four screws for us to pull out this very service door. So we proceed by unscrewing objects. Then we have to change objects. Then we have to ply it from here, from this very angle. We ply it out gradually in order to so remove up the service door. Down here we have the service door being removed. Then next will be actually to remove up the 
the DVD from the DVD bay drive. So we pull it out down here, a little bit down here, a little bit down here, and then the drive pops out, and then we have our DVD drive. Next, we really have to disconnect up our run, our run from its connectors. So we should be always watchful in order not to touch up the gold plated pinouts. That's it. We handle up extremely with care towards this very age. So after which we change objects. You see objects. In order for us uh, to dislodge up the Wi-Fi cables, we really have to make use of our tweezers in order for us to get rid of this very Wi-Fi cable. Removal of the wireless card. Remove of the wireless card. Extremely gradual, easy. You don't really either add any force or whatever. Take it up gradually. Next, now we have to use up the two screws. These are the two screws here and here. Another side to remove up the front. We disconnect up the connector. This actually supplies of the power actually that makes this actually functional. You have to dislodge up the cable from this connector. And now next followed up by removal of the heat sink. Here we have about like four screws to enable us to remove of the heat sink. Oops. Gradually, extremely easy. You take it out. We change up the screw so from the processor circuit, so we move it up. Our processor yeah. down here we have up the um, processor from AMD Turian. Now follows up by using up this very one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, um, eight, nine. About like nine screws to enable us in other cells to remove up the system casing. You have to turn it up. Alright. Once we turn it up, then we try to open it up. Let's open up our pieces and that's it. Next now we be actually to apply out this very front connector to enable us to have our strikes to disassemble up the keyboard. So we start off from here. We apply it out. We apply it gradually and gradually. That's it, the front. Connector, then we change it up before this. The next will be actually to unscrew up the two screws to enable up our access to the keyboard. Alright, towards this very stage, we have to pick up our tweezers. We try to apply out the keyboard. The Next will actually be for us to disconnect of the flex cable for the touch part. So we pull this up gradually, extremely gradually. Disconnect it up. Then followed up by disconnecting of the VGA cable. To take it up easy. Take it up easy. Then we disconnect it. This very wifey cable. We fly it out. And then next followed up by disconnecting of, of the web camera. The web camera connector, we have to disconnect it up. Take it out gradually. So, it's up. You take it out gradually. So they are off. You 
put down our tweezers, then we pick up our screws. So we have to we have to unscrew up these very basic tools in order to also remove up the displays. Start it up, and then we unscrew up this, and then and then we put it up. So we have to lift it up gradually. Gradually has been disconnected up. Then we have some other few basic screws being left. So we have to screw out these and then screw out these for us to disconnect up the connectors and this. Any other additional tools. Pick it up and then and then we go through. We go through which really goes bad and does it. Handheld microscope lens to actually goes up in handy with the Arsur Aspire 5100 has been disassembled to its motherboard. Now we are going to start off from the assembling processes. Assembling processes are always the revised case of what we actually started off with. by placing up this very board and by putting up every other change and complete them all. It's always the price case. So we have to start it up by placing up the motherboard. Then we tighten it up. Then we try to connect up the two connectors, the two speakers, the air connectors. We try to put it up towards these connectors. Next will be to connect up our Power board. Power board. Then down here we have this arm modem. We have our modem. Engage up the connector and then we connect it up. We connect it up. Grab the load up by connecting up the power. The power board. And make sure that it's extremely and firmly well engaged. So towards this very period we have to unclip our wrist connector and therefore clip it up back towards this very main phase. We clip it up. We try to verify that everything connectors then we try to verify that everything connectors has been firmly screwed connected and, and they are equally well seated has been firmly well connected and they are equally well seated before we close it up this Followed up by connecting up the power. The clip up down here. One casing. This is seated before followed up by connecting up the power. The power board. Make sure that it's extremely and firmly well engaged. Here, it will be nice um, to assemble up our display. Pick up the display, we set it up. To make sure that it's extremely well seated. Press remove all this. Then we try to connect up the VGA cable. That's the VGA cable towards this very connector and put this back. That's the Wi-Fi cable. The camera connector, the webcam co connector. I'll make sure that it's extremely well seated. Then we turn it up back down here. Then we try to put up the two screws for this very displays. And we pick up the Wi-Fi cable, we pick up the Wi-Fi card, and then slot up the Wi-Fi card towards this connector and make sure that it's well seated. We arrange up our Wi-Fi cable and then we first move down our processor and then put down our processor. Watching up this very arrow because this very arrow actually indicates of the pin number one. So you try to look it up down here. We have an arrow down here. 
so you make sure that this very arrow this very arrow matches up with the arrow at the socket indicating up the pin number one and then we lock our processor to its socket you can and then we bring in our heat sink to so the excess heat from this very processor so it's actually being pasted up newly so we have to open the money drop tapes we have to manage it out. so there, as, there won't really be any need in other cells to carry out to repairs or a newer um, thermal grips or whatever so this is actually okay these have not really actually worn out so we place it up we attach it up we have one down here and we try to arrange it up then we fix up our wifi our wifi cables so we take it up easy by connecting up these very cables the wifi cable to its wifi port and that's it close it up second we pick up the fan place up the fan then so we have to screw up the fan cable to its very connector and to make sure that it's extremely well seated move it up i'll piece it down then we have to connect up these very flex the touch part flex back to this very connector then we bring up our tweezers we bring our tweezers and then we push this off and then we try we lock it up we lock it up then we make sure that it's extremely well engaged. Then towards this very stage we bring up our keyboards. We set it up. Then we have to unlock up. Then start up our keyboards and that's it. Bring up the flip. And then we move it in. Push up. And then change it out. Change it out. Our DVD drive towards its bay and make sure that it's extremely well engaged. Though. Then we have to move up our hard drive towards its very casing. Uh, 